What's going on everybody? So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys a little bit about the exhaust brake in the truck. Now, that is something that I didn't have any knowledge on. Nobody ever told me what it was, what it did, what the perks of it was, um, and how it kind of operated. So as I learn things, I think it's gonna be one of my biggest you know, ways to give back is to inform you guys, because there may be somebody out there that has no idea what it is, like myself. Um, and I wanna just kind of go over how it works, the perks of it, and what uh, what it does for your truck. So I'm gonna go over that with you. And this is only for diesels. Regular gas burning trucks do not have an exhaust brake. It is diesel only. So that's another little key point uh, to remember. If you have a gas truck, this video really doesn't apply to you unless you're looking to get a diesel truck, then you, it's gonna be something that benefits you. All right, so first I wanna tell you guys a little bit of how it works. Um, so basically what this does is when you have it engaged, it's going to create, like it takes all the exhaust gases and it applies that to the pistons, which in return slows the, pist the piston motion down, slows the, crank the crankshaft down, and that's what creates the slowing motion. Now, with the exhaust brake, it is going to prolong the life of your brakes and your rotors because you're not having to use the brakes as much. You still have to use the brakes. Now, when we're, when we're towing, I have not only the tow haul mode engaged, which is the engine brake, but now I also have the exhaust brake button engaged. And anytime you're going down a steep grade and the truck senses it, you, you will hear it, it and it, you'll hear it kick in and start to slow you down. And I cannot tell you how much of a breeze it has made towing going down hills, uh, especially up here in Tennessee where we're currently at. Some of these grades, you're on a seven or eight percent downgrade, and you do that enough, you're going to go through brakes like that, um, where your rotor is down as well. So this is this has been a, a game changer for me. Another key point of a perk when you use this, it's going to help keep your turbo clean. And when I say clean, it's going to help keep all the soot off of the turbo veins, and it basically keeps your turbo cycled out will also extend the life of your turbo. If you don't use this when you're towing later down the road, it could lead to some issues with the turbo. Um, I've done a lot of research on this and guys that don't use it as often, you gotta use it or you lose it. The same thing with anything. The turbo needs to be used. It's there for a purpose and this is its purpose. So definitely wanna use it. One thing I do wanna say though, do not use this and it's recommended by the manufacturer do not use it in icy or slippery conditions if it's raining outside don't use it um, you shouldn't try to be towing anyways during those conditions but if you get stuck and you don't have any other choice um, don't use it they, they recommend don't do it um, you can go to dodge's website you look this up online if you want to there's tons of research and tons of data don't take my word for it i've done my homework and i recommend you do the same so now I want to show you how to engage it. There's two different modes and how to disengage it. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys, my instrumentation display down here is maybe different from your truck. I have a 2022 Dodge Ram 2500 diesel uh, and it is the Bighorn edition. So with the Tradesman, might be a little different on the, the instrument cluster down here. Same, same, um, what am I trying to think of here? Indicator light? Um, so I'll show you that right now. So down here, if you have a big horn, you're gonna see these instrument lights down here. Obviously this is gonna be the tow haul, tow haul mode right here. That one right there. And this guy right here, it looks like a little puff of air coming out. To engage it, you wanna push it one time, okay? The little light's gonna come on. Okay, so if you push the button one time, you're gonna see that yellow indicator light right there come up. Now, if it's yellow, this is going to be engaged every time you take your foot off the gas pedal. So there's that mode. And then, and that's gonna be called full exhaust brake on. If you hit the button one more time, it's gonna switch over to auto automatic exhaust brake now that is what i recommend you operate in that's what i've been reading and everybody says that's the best mode to be in that is going to be the one that when you're going downhill you don't you don't it's not you don't want it to kick in when your foot comes off the gas sometimes you just want to start cruising down a hill 
and that automatic is going to kick in when it feels like you're gaining speed and it needs to slow down you'll hear that turbo kick in so if you hit the button down here on your instrument cluster a third time the lights gonna go off and it's gonna tell you exhaust brake off okay down here if you hit it the first time when you crank your truck up full exhaust brake on the first click second click is going to be a green indicator saying automatic exhaust brake on and a third click exhaust brake is off and disengaged so again I didn't know when I got this truck they didn't tell me what everything does I kind of had to figure it out on my own um, that has changed my towing experience a thousand times over I did want to mention in this video I know it's about exhaust brake but I did want to mention the tow haul button that's an engine brake that is totally different than the exhaust brake again to recap the exhaust brake creates a negative force that comes from the engine it's applied to the to the pistons it slows that the pistons down in turn it slows your crankshaft down slowing the vehicle your tow haul mode is literally an engine brake run them both it's going to help you slow down and prolong the life of your brakes your rotors it keeps your turbo nice and clean and cycled out it's just a great thing to do um, so i did want to give a little shout out we were in talladega alabama and we met a couple that plays wizard with us or knew of wizard is a favorite card game of ours and he said you know he's has he's got a ford he's a ford guy um, but he's like, does your truck have an exhaust brake on it? And I thought to myself, I was like, yeah, it automatically does it when I, you know, I'm in tow haul mode. Kind of got me thinking, I was like, something's off there. I don't, I don't really know. So I went back, did a little, I'd say an hour and a half worth of research. And this little button that we didn't have any idea what it did, that's what he was talking about. And I, the next day I had to apologize and say, hey man, thank you you actually taught me something I when you said that yesterday I went back and it's something just told me to do a little bit more research and I learned something else that my truck does so I ended up thanking him and he was just telling me you know you got to put I have to engage it on my truck and I thought mine automatically did it but anyways thank you Jeff if you're watching this I appreciate it you've made my towing life a thousand times better so that's and that's another thing about this whole RV life everybody's out to help each other for mm -hmm. the most part i have yet to meet anybody that's like man i don't know about that guy i nobody everybody has been amazing helpful and it's all family oriented just like our neighbor over there when we left our yeah uh yeah. we left here to go get old morning noon tonight and i had to actually we left to go drop her off and wes is over there super nice guy they're having a house built so they're staying here for a while but i was in a rush by myself trying to get this thing taken over to the dealership got everything loaded up i forgot my my surge protector outside for my 50 amp cord kind of a big deal like i don't ever hook up without a surge protector nor do i recommend you guys ever never do it just don't do it always have a surge protector even if it has one um but yeah he sent jen a message on instagram and he's like dustin forgot his surge protector i've got it i know you guys are coming back i'll hold on to it and I was like, man, you know, that's just, that's awesome. RV life. Yeah, because he easily could have taken that thing. I never would have known. I would have, I, I would, I don't remember. Who, who knows where I would have thought it was at, but he was so nice about it. And uh, if he, if you're watching this, Wes, thank you very much. Um, definitely appreciate it. Fun fact, real quick. So when I got into this, you know, our camper says it's the 150 series, which means it's half ton towable. Half ton is going to be your 150s three quarter tons is going to be like in truck terms you'll hear people say oh you got to have a three quarter ton or one ton or half ton whatever so a half ton is going to be your 150s truck so like an f-150 or 1500 for dodges um three quarter ton is going to be your 250s or 2500s and then your one tons are going to be 350s or 3500s whichever make you have um, but I didn't know that. That was always kind of like a different language. The dealer's just like, oh, you need a three-quarter ton to tow that. And I'm like, three-quarter ton? You would think that would be 350s. I did. Nope, 250s. So that's a little fun fact for you guys.
when it comes to truck lingo, if you don't know that. If you listen to me ramble on about the exhaust brake and you want to do a little bit more research on it, um, I am going to have a link down below where I got some of my information from. Um, you can also go to your owner's manual. It's got, a, it's got a section about it. Look up whatever truck you have. And remember, it's diesels only, so if you have a gas burner, it doesn't really apply to you. But if you're towing fifth wheels, I recommend diesels. You definitely get better gas mileage. It is a little bit more expensive for diesel, um, but in another video, we have a gas app. Now, um, I'm not gonna drop it just yet. I'll make you guys watch this, but I'm gonna create a video here soon. We have a gas app and it is only for diesels. You go to truck stops. We have saved so much money. One on stop diesel. was like $30. Yeah, one we stop saved. we saved $30. Some stops you save like six or seven bucks, but I'm telling you when you're full time and you're traveling, and you're on the road like we are, you go through some diesel. I mean, you go through some daggone diesel. I'll show you guys that as well because it saved us money and I wanna save you guys money too. There's no, I mean, we're here to help each other out. If you have any other gas apps that you guys use, let us know.